Have you ever had a craving to just pick up some dirt and eat it? Well, some people have. Before today, you probably thought that no one other than a curious toddler would willingly and happily eat dirt, but what you're about to hear is going to prove you wrong. The truth is that many people eat dirt willingly every day, and that's what we call geophagia. Geophagia, by definition, is the practice of eating dirt or dirt-like substances such as clay or chalk, and it is most common among children and pregnant women, mainly in poor countries of Africa. There are three hypotheses as to why geophagia exists. First is a consequence of food shortage, second is providing nutritional value that lacks from the diet, and third is that it protects the stomach against toxins, parasites, and pathogens. While these reasons exist, it is also believed to be connected to the mental disease, PICA, which makes humans crave non-nutritive foods. Let's dig in and learn some more. Clay is the soil that is most widely eaten, mainly due to its smooth texture. Typically, the first few inches of topsoil are avoided as the soil has the most biological activity with parasites and pathogens. Of the clay that is eaten, it is most often taken from termite mounds. Termite mounds have a high concentration of clay and a low concentration of sand, which is great for eating due to its fineness of the clay. Apparently, termite mounds are rich in calcium and can help build baby's bones late into pregnancy. Clay is often eaten in times of scarcity, such as in the Haiti earthquake that caused countless cases of homelessness and starvation. If no food could be found, people then turned to clay to get any type of nutrients. Research indicates that a prime reason for geophagia is the small particle profile of clay. Across all sites commonly sampled for eating, each soil has a clay content of over 35%. Within the body, clays can bind fungal toxins, internal toxins, man-made chemicals, and bacteria. Additionally, it can act as a coating, protecting the stomach from acid and curbing diarrhea. These benefits become apparent when analyzing clay's microstructure. Let's look at kaolinite, one of the most commonly eaten clays. The basic structure unit of kaolinite is one silica tetrahedral sheet and one alumina octahedral sheet, bound together by hydrogen bonds. When in solution, the negatively charged surface of clay results in what is called a diffused double layer, since positive ions are attracted to the negative surface of the clay. This large concentration of positive ions near the clay give it a polycationic property that attracts negatively charged toxins and pesticides. Additionally, the high specific surface of clays results in high absorption capacity of the toxins, making them effective healing agents. Over time, substances will be absorbed between the silicate sheets due to expansion or contraction. The medical community is divided on the health effects of geophagia. Long-term consumption of the soil is known to have high mortality rates. It puts you at risk of ingesting parasitic worms, bacteria, viruses, and other harmful pathogens. It can interfere with iron potassium levels in the body. When consuming soils with high specific surfaces, the particles bind to vital minerals in the body and remove them, which can lead to serious mineral imbalances. However, soil is used more commonly than you'd think for health purposes. Ever taken an antacid tablet like Tums for your stomach ache? Well, you're ingesting a mixture of clays. The calcium carbonate contained in Tums naturally occurs in limestone and contains montmorillonite, eyelite, and kaolinite. The previously mentioned properties of clay and high alkalinity help level out the acidity in your stomach. I want to do something different for all week this year. Like a different treat? Something that will help their stomachs. Or maybe a trick. I know. Trick, trick or treat!